So for my first impression, uh, my first first impression at least first, first. is <laughs> is I guess the live action air quotes Lion King. I would say um, hyper real is a better way to. Okay, I like that. Thanks. I've been trying to figure out how to say what this is because it's not live action. It's technically animated, but hyper realistic is hyper accurate. Um, <laughs> and this is just a weird movie directed by John Favreau with a huge list of stars: Chu Telegia for John Oliver, James Earl Jones, uh, you know Beyonce, Donnie Glover, Donald Glover, uh, Seth Rogen, a whole bunch Eichner. of people. Eric Andre. You went in a, such a strange order with that cast list, but it's... it's, it's Sorry, I have a little bit of a whiplash from that. Uh, <laughs> as I'm sure you probably had after watching the movie. Keegan-Michael Key. Yeah, um, there's one. <laughs> we um, got him in just under the radar. It's just like... I was pretty excited for this movie. I thought this was going to be really good. Because I... The, like, the original Lion King is probably... Probably my favorite Disney animated movie. Um, and this is just it's this is a weird creature. Like it's okay. it's almost a shot for shot remake of the animated movie with almost zero of the emotional feel as the first one. Oof. Cause I just think there's there's something you lose with this hyper realistic style where you cannot really get any emoting from a feline's eyes or from a bird. Or a water buffalo, you know? There's also, like, just, like, really weird, like, small... Cha- okay, so, like, everyone's seen The Lion King. I can spoil The Lion King, right? Well, what if I haven't seen Hamlet? You've seen... <laughs> there is the scene, though, right, where Scar uh, throws Mufasa off the cliff, right? It's, like, the big scene. Yeah. Right? In this movie, for some reason, like, in the animated movie, Scar, like, grabs into his pause as he's trying to climb up the mountainside like throws him back right in this movie they thought it was a good idea to have scar punch him in the face what <laughs> and i'm like not even joking it's so weird what? that like this 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 entire scene where i'm like supposed to be like invested because like this is the moment like in the animated movie where it just fucking kills me and breaks me down like this is like the equivalent to like the up moment where I can just put this on and like it kills me. So and what, what's and weird, then Scar punches I, him again. I haven't seen the, the movie, face. but I did see this one scene. And the thing that was really weird is he got up on his hind legs and he put his fists up in like a like a Bronson kind of way. He said, "Come here, Saka. You ready for a knockout? You want to dance? Put on your tap shoes, buddy." And then he just popped him right in the nose. It's just so. It's like weird <laughs> things like that. It's also like, can you feel the love tonight? Is sung during the day. <laughs> like, t- did anyone who was doing the animation for this listen to the song? Because, like, that's not how that works. I think there's one improvement, and that's the hyenas. Okay. I think the, the hyenas are actually an improvement, because in, in the anime movie, they're just super annoying. I mean, you know, they're if you, kind of... Wh- was it Whoopi Goldberg or Wanda Sykes yeah, in the original? it was Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg. Okay. Um... It's in this been a one, while, you got sorry. this one. You got Keegan Michael Keel and Andre, um, Eric this? Andre. Was it? Yeah, Eric Andre, uh, and they just do a little bit better. Okay. And I feel like I feel like they're actually more of a threat. Where in the first one, I'm just like they're just a joke. Like they're not a real threat to anybody. Okay, so they got them to be a little bit scarier. All right, a little bit. Yeah. So, so uh, do you think? Do you think this movie? Obviously, you think that it's a lesser version. So do you think it hurts the original? No, I'm not one who subscribes to, like, that thought that, like, if you remake something, it hurts the first one. I'm like, no, it just, like, it gives you a chance to possibly get something better. Okay. You know, and take a different look at it. Unfortunately, this one didn't even take a different look at the story. It was like, let's just do this in, like, the hyper-realistic style, which is interesting, you know? It's, it like, the, it's crazy how good the CGI is here. It's insane how realistic it is. Um... But it's just a waste of time. I would never want anyone to watch this over the original. Okay. Fair enough. What a potentially scathing, excessively positive, or exceedingly middling review of that movie you just heard. (laughs) If you want to hear more that could potentially fit into any of those categories, click this box, which has more reviews and clips from the main show. We also got our weekly mini episodes over here in this box. And make sure to click the circle in the middle to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on another episode in the future.